walk to the studio this morning. Oh my goodness, it's like quite deep in a blizzard in mid-April. Good times. Here's this writer studio. It's the artist studio. So I can make it across the parking lot. So I've decided to haul myself away in the studio today, which I'm not going to feel guilty about since it's wild weather outside. Um, this is a start to what I've got going for an underpainting on this piece. Um, I really love the kind of abstraction that you see in the piece behind it. I'm working with oil paint, I've got um, Gamblin Van Dyke Brown, which I use a lot on, so I got a big tube, and then I have my regular line, which I normally use, and this is indigo, one of my favorite colors as well. Um, just working with kind of like um, a light wash as I develop the underpainting, working from imagery that I gather um, around the site, around location here um, at Gentel. I really enjoy, you know, responding to the place that I'm at. Those of you that might be, you know, kind of new to painting or oil painting, what I'm working with is just creating a really kind of rich, dark black. So the combination of the indigo and the Van Dyke really creates a sort of unique effect that I enjoy that I'm playing around with in this underpainting. And you can also see, you know, kind of the washes that I put underneath and I had that absorbent ground on the linen and it creates these beautiful marks that I like kind of like that and also like these over here. But when I mix these two together, perfect black, love it. Um, you might try it sometime. Hey, so I am working my way down on this painting here behind me. And um, I've talked a little bit about uh, this whole idea of painting and, uh, with my work and my blog. And honestly, yeah, painting can be sometimes a real pain. Um, so I was working on like a really intense day yesterday, which you get at residencies, which is great, but at the same time, you're not, your body's not used to like that, like intense way of working with your work. And so I was like standing on a ladder and doing the up high work and then, um, holding my arm in the air and after a while, like my, my, uh, wrist started hurting from just hours and hours and then my upper back. So I think I probably did, you know, 10 hours yesterday. So I had to like take a break, you know, go take a walk, a vigorous one. Um, so keep that in mind, you know, when you're making your work, you know, be kind to your body while you're doing it. So with this one, I am looking forward to sitting down. Oops, I guess you don't see the, the stool, but I got a stool down here. Um, and then getting a little bit lower, but still with my arm in the air, gonna find my back is a little bit aching, but you know, it's worth it. I'm really excited about this new piece. about the end of the week here and I've been working really, really hard on this underpainting that you see behind me. I've gotten pretty much all of it done except the tiniest little bit at the bottom corner there. Oops, that you can sort of see. So it's been a lot of hours this week and like a lot of people, you know, ask me, you know, how many hours does it take me to do 
an entire painting. So I started logging hours in my snazzy journal here and I thought you might be interested. I, I did count like a pretty good idea of how long just this like black underpainting that you see behind me has been taking. Um, and I found that it's been 60 hours on the underpainting, about one hour on the abstract behind it, and then 12 hours, you know, just dealing with, coming up with this digital sketch and refining it and figuring out what I wanna do for imagery. Four hours of research, walking around, and that's not counting like the prep on, you know, doing the linen and preparing a gesso and the surface. And you saw me put together the studio as well. So, you know, it's added up pretty quickly, right? <laughs> but this is a really big painting, a lot bigger than maybe I've done in the past. And I'm really excited about it. Um, I love the activity that you see in it. Um, but one thing that did happen with all these hours I've been putting into it is that like, I realized I was basically rubbing my hand raw, that's not paint, just rubbing it against the surface too, too much. And also my wrist started really hurting. You know, painting has the word hay in it, doesn't it? Ha. Huh. <laughs> Um, so I ended up getting this wrist scarf, which has been actually really helpful because like even stretching isn't like the easiest, it doesn't always alleviate everything. So, um, I've been painting with this now, which is actually much better, um, gives my, my wrist a break. So those of you that find you're in the same kind of predicament at any point in time, you might find it helpful. So yeah, um, you, I'll give you a little bit of a closer look at this and it's been a pretty productive week. Okay, so there's the full on view and then I'll kind of zoom in on it so you can see better. Alright, and there you have it. <laughs> 